when we looked at Sweden, particularly Stockholm, we found an amazing group of teams out here that were doing really staggering stuff. Not just doing stuff, but really innovating industries in a way I've not seen before. Brilliant stories in all different sectors, from media, entertainment, architectural, engineering, construction and manufacturing. My background is in real time, but I do work for a company now that does a lot of posts as well and film. And what I see is that the, the two departments are getting closer and closer to each other. The entire entertainment production industry is under pressure for reducing costs. They can create better content with uh, less resources and in less time. And the real-time capabilities of the Unreal Engine really provide that tool. How much of what we just saw in the trailer, the teaser, is in Unreal? We use it through all the processes. We love Unreal. We use Unreal from that. We, we were Unreal 3 users. <laughs> with your tools and with the tools that we're inventing ourselves, we'll be able to do really, really impressive shots at cost levels never before achieved. Because of real time, we really see our customers uh, using it in, uh, in a different way now. I mean, they can use it in the sales process. It feels more safe to buy their products when, when the customer knows what they're getting and they can really interact with it. Doing things in real time, you get results immediately. Uh, you get kind of spoiled because of that, because you don't want to do anything offline anymore. Part of what Unreal has changed and allowed us to do it took off the, the kind of the Sisyphic part of the work for us and allowed us to really concentrate on what we yeah. like, which is design, design and, and the stuff like that. Guys four weeks ago had never literally ever used the engine at all. And what they produced today, along with the line guys, was up there with the best I've seen in the architecture space. At the core of this innovation is Epic's Unreal Engine. The innovation came about quite simply uh, with the growing desire to craft, create and experiment with computer-generated character performances in real time. For me, watching Ben be a puppeteer was amazing. Hello. Hey! Who are you guys? Digital puppetry. I love that. <laughs> The highlights for me in manufacturing was the Volkswagen story. There are numerous of reasons we could move into VR as an automotive company. Our reason is uh, to demonstrate product. It is by far the best auto configuration project I've seen at retail. We struggled internally to tell the difference between the real photographs and the Unreal Engine output. Having fun and playing around and being creative, that's what we need in this industry. And that's easier to do in real time. Real time is a total game changer. We talk to people up on this mountain here and they, you know, fix in their last 3% and then all of a sudden some other people, they just build a new mountain over here.